Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Gabe's to here. This is the normal DPS guide for Immersius in Siege of Orgrimmar. Uh, this will just focus on tips for DPS players in particular to deal with the core mechanics to get through this fight. So let's get started. So the first thing to consider uh, as a DPS is your basic positioning around the room. This is important for both phases of the encounter. Um, you want to be somewhere that you're within heal range of a healer, of course. And because the room is so large, it will be uh, somewhat based on your raid to figure out where your healers can stand and then your DPS from there so that everyone's within range of at least one healer at all times. So you can see the raid markers around the room. We kind of have a center position in the back of the room for our tanks, which is at the purple marker. Then we have a red and green marker on either side of that. This is a quadrant for our healers to hang out in. And then our DPS players are in the yellow and the blue to the sides of that or behind the healers in the red and the green. So again, the DPS are always within range of a healer at all times. Now, dangers to you as a DPS include Swirl, which the boss is casting right now. And you can see he basically faces a random direction, shoots out water from his mouth, and spins around slowly. So once he starts to cast this, I just watch his, his facing and then sidestep him to make sure this does not hit you. If it does hit you, it does some damage to you, but more importantly, it knocks you far away and you may get out of range of the healer. Uh, the other thing is you can't really stand in the, the rivers of water as the, you will take damage over time from those, uh, as well as the puddles on the ground that will appear throughout the fight. So when a puddle spawns underneath you, simply sidestep it and wait a few seconds because another one will be coming up soon <laughs> and just keep moving side to side only a few yards each time. Uh, this will ensure that the puddles are kept close together, but you're not standing in more than one at any given moment and then just move out of the fresh one as soon as you can, like you saw I did just there. So during the normal phase, while the Merciless is attackable, as a DPS, simply focus on him and burn him down just like you normally would. However, when he reaches one hit point, he will submerge for a while. And during this period, instead of attacking a Merciless, you have to attack the Shaw Puddles that will spawn around the room. So this is the second reason that positioning is good. You wanna have um, a nice split around the room for your DPS and tank players. Now, when these shaw puddles appear, they are dark puddles. There you can see a couple of them spawning. And you want to DPS these down as quickly as possible. Uh, once you kill a shaw puddle, make sure that you're within about 10 yards of it when it dies, because this will give you a stacking buff that increases your damage output by 50% per stack. This only lasts for a few seconds, but of course it makes the killing of subsequent puddles that much more important. Now each puddle that you defeat, either killing the Shaw puddles for DPS or healers will be healing the contaminated puddles, which are the light color ones. Every puddle you defeat will reduce um, the corruption of Immersius by one point. And when his energy or corruption reaches zero, you've defeated the encounter and you win. So as a DPS, you wanna focus on where those Shaw puddles are coming up from the center. So you can watch closely as they're shooting up like they are here and kind of position yourself around your assigned quadrant or area so that you can quickly deal with the Shaw puddles near you. Um, now, obviously I'm a healer, but uh, when there aren't any to heal, I will help with the DPS and vice versa. But for the most part, as a, as a DPS, focus on the Shaw puddles and just stay within that 10 yard range when they die making sure to burst down the early ones quickly so that you get that stacking buff rolling as soon as you can. And that really covers everything. So just dodge the uh, swirl attack, stay out of the puddles, and then when he submerges, focus on bursting down the shaw puddles as quick as you can, keeping that buff uh, stacking up on yourself so you can do a little bit of extra damage where it counts. And that is the DPS guide for Immersius. As usual, good luck and thanks for watching.